for as long as possible. Clearly, we made the mistake of showing that we could cope with the heavy costume in film one. So that was almost like a gauntlet being thrown down to the costume department. After each fitting, they must have gone. I just had a fitting with Graham McTavish, and at the end of it, he was walking. Get back to the drawing board. I want to see that man crushed. So they decided to give Guano a light utility vehicle to wear. If I fell over in this, that would be it. The rest of the dwarves would just be standing laughing at me. Thank you. Thanks very much. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I disabled the camera. <laughs> Where someone like Stephen Hunter was kind of encased inside a tank. Bomber's armor is it's like a, a small boat, actually. Um, it kind of goes around him. Thank you. I feel sexy. You know, it wasn't real armor. It was lightweight. But it was. It wasn't my way. Wait a bit, wait a bit, didn't it? Yeah. And the only way to rest when you're offset was to lie down in it, on a mat. And I just <laughs> and fall asleep in it. And of course, this was originally the armor that we were going to do the battle in. I couldn't have fought in it. I, I, I couldn't have fought in it. Well, I don't know, I've got a lie. Doesn't look restricted at all, does it? Sit. You couldn't actually lift a weapon, be like. Kill the fight, couldn't lift arms above your head. Oh, I can't. And it quickly became apparent that this was not going to be practical. It was a great day on set when the decision came that the dwarves were going to ship 